Okay, so let's look closer on the export. If you're just done with one image, all what you need to click, it's a export single image on top of your um, navbar. This will just take and save this image. However, the very um, export is a very powerful tool with inside the PhotoKey 8 Pro. So it's allowed you to export by email and you can go inside the email um, kind of an export by email or go inside the options emails and set up your email from where you need to send so you can actually export by email you can export to the Facebook's on mobile so it's actually very useful if you want to directly upload it uh, from your domain or um, you can export to save as a bunch of files as a batch processing and for the batch processing what is um, kind of work if you go inside the import for example right here and let's go just add um, different images so we have it more than one okay you can have it as many you wanted the one thing is kind of to remember you want to set this as a batch processing so we'll need to click on this error okay batch processing this is not unique and in some cases they will apply default settings however if i want to pre-cut i want to be sure they're unique and enable uniqueness with the arrow and I also want to add them to the export okay so right here we have it unique batch and export okay you can always preview going in your um, image and just cycle through some of this um, up and down arrows so you can preview see which what other images will look like okay but notice right here my um, the layer with the name and other ones they change and the reason why this changed because this is was unique image so whatever changes i applied on the layers they're not unique anymore so if i need to change this i need to go back to the layers be sure the image does not set as unique and in this case i can just go ahead and let me disable some of this in this case it will apply to all of them notice the shadows and everything i say because it was unique and we applied to other ones the one applied okay um same as if i change my position this position will apply to all of the images except the one that was set as unique okay you'll notice all changes there so let's go ahead one and um notice the layers is gone that those layers that i disable okay let's go back one more time okay i want to be sure the position all this applied um one thing you'll notice this is going down this is going up so it's how we direction same we can go and we can change uh, backgrounds to preview see what's different of them will look like okay let's go to import backgrounds and notice on the backgrounds i also have an icon for the um batch so i can go ahead and click and apply them into the batch the one thing what's happening here that um my background may change so i want to go inside the position on my background and maybe scale be sure that all will fit before processing my batch file okay so we have it this one background actually let's go back to position and i'll just use it navigation right there to cycle through all of them that look okay let's go to next background okay this one i maybe want just slightly adjusting go next and again this is not maybe perfect but it's just showing us how to process okay when i'm done i set my backgrounds i set everything um and export options i have to choose from the jpeg png and tff tff is uncompressed i like to save this way for myself but however if i email or upload on j on a facebook or ftp or send clients jpeg will work just fine because tff cannot process on a web on a facebook okay the quality 100 percent you can reduce if you need it we have an option to add prefix and suffix to our um file names we can import specifically any file name we also can embed workspace color palette in many cases you don't need it you go with jpeg and 
preserve additional information XFI. Sometimes you may want it if you have it set on your camera, the copyright for the images. So, okay, right here we have it use batch background. So if we click on this, it will ask us prompt to upload. So it's meaning right now, whatever a new um, backgrounds, whatever they will be, they will process in a backgrounds batch and foreground. So it's meaning I will save at this time one, two, three, four. So four versions of this with all different backgrounds. And it does work if you need it. Different options can send to the client and says, hey, can you preview and see which ones you like it? Okay, so let's go ahead. We can click export here now. And it will open prompt. So we want to save it. I will save on photo key. And we'll just select this folder. And notice right here, we start processing. So it's telling me how long it's about taking how long it will take process all of those images. So right now they'll batch processing all of the um, images we uploaded and we add it to the batch processing as well as the backgrounds. Okay, so our export is completed. You can see it is eclipse time. It's showing me take two, about three minutes. So I can go okay and let's look what we have right here. So you can see we take all those images we applied and we apply all of them to different backgrounds. Again, some of them may work better, some not. And notice right here, a little bit different because right there we stretch properly. But this is again, this is unique image was set. So, and a background does not apply global changes that I change for all other ones. So just be aware of this when you work that if unique image and you make global changes, it won't apply to the unique image at that case. Other size and position, but enable disable layers will do apply it. Okay, so right here we look on all of the properties and it's a little bit more actually to photo key 8 pro. And as we work on some projects, we'll explore more and more and kind of learning more of some tools. So thank you for watching this tutorials from Geek at Play Studio and please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.